bought this LSA for a project I'm kind of going to do when I get this SS, so uh, put the LSA on there. Um, before I do that, though, I'm going to go through, you know, a lot of places uh, out here are portrait LSA for you. I'm going to try to do it, a do-it-yourself port. Make sure you, uh, normal LSA factory, you, you see, like, uh, this casting, it's kind of rough. It's not smooth, say, like this rim right here, how smooth this is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and this major area, at least, at least right here, I'm gonna go and try to smooth that down, kind of port it a little bit. For example, like here, this opening, kind of slightly next down a little bit. You can see that. Let's see. Kind of slightly, slightly uh, next down right there. So I'm gonna kind of smooth that out, open it up just a little bit here. Hopefully by the end of it, you know, it'll be almost as smooth as this finish right here. Uh, what I did to uh, do that simple Harbor Freight die grinder, electric, uh, Chicago Electric. What I did was I just bought some uh, carbide uh, bird tips of Amazon. You know, just, uh, just regular carbide tips. Uh, these are can't remember the length. I think these are uh, an eight inches, I believe. I'm saying they come, they come nicely packaged. Uh, I got a couple different tips. This one's more of a rounded. This is a point, and then I have the it's the straight uh, square. I also got a shorter ones. But I saw some people say that you know these will break on them or bend. And I say I only really need this one if I need to. The snout shouldn't be too big of a deal getting in there because it's, it's you know it's short. But for the actual LSA itself. You know, I want to probably a longer tip to get in there. But I also bought this little, this little kit, uh, Amazon as well. Just has uh, shorter tips, get a little more pressure on the shorter ends. You see, it comes with a slight little variety. So, I say just this, this the Harbor Freight die grinder. I'm gonna go in here and try to clean it up. So here's like a little quick. So I'm just start here for example, a little quick example. I said I did a I did a port and polish on my heads I had my uh, LS1 head so I you know I know this works pretty well so we'll see what we get. All right, so here here's what I got so far. Uh, see back there, like this side, like for here example, this is the casting flash how it was prior. I know that's a different port, but and, and here we got now I did a little bit of this was maybe 10 minutes of work. Um, actually, I can even make it a little more. Obviously, right now, I know it's rough. Uh, so I got this also, the JX Port and Polish Kit. Actually has the uh, fine gray sandpaper to smooth it out after you're done. Uh, probably could, I mean, you could, I'm assuming you do it by hand, actually, if you wanted to. Another thing, you have to be really careful when you're in there, especially around here where you got that, those lumps tips in there it likes to catch and travel I did that to this one brand new obviously bent it <laughs> so obviously if you're working right here in the snout it's easy to go with a shorter tip which is what I ended up just switching to like I said there's not much room on this but that prevents it from uh bending it'll travel but you no know, bends um, all I simply was doing for example, I'm going to the back side. Just do this. Uh, I still obviously you clean it out afterwards, but say for example, there's you see the flash, casting flash, kind of how it's rough. I'm gonna pick this spot right here. And this is all I've been doing. smoother towards the end but you get that casting flash out also I want to kind of shrink this size down that'll give you a little more 
here. I said it's the most important part on the supercharger. So, like this lump right here. I don't know why that one's there. And that one's I'm going to smooth all that out to a straight line. Probably take some of this hump down. I'm not going to touch anything with the uh, recirculation bit. I don't know if that's proper name. This is what I'm calling it. But all in here, I'll probably get... Um, let's see here. I can stand it. It's hard not to have this thing in the stand. I'll probably get... As much as I can, obviously, like I say, the bypass vent, I'm not really worried about too much up there, but I'll probably smooth out um, everything down there below it as much as I can. Alright, so halfway through my little port job, it's, it's getting there. Like I say, once I smooth it out, like, uh, let's see, like here, that the section red, right about here, like that's really smooth. Like I said, once I go over that with a little polisher, it'll be even better. Of course, I gotta just smooth out some of these nicks and stuff here. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, like I say, this is just the first one, first pass. I, I bent a couple of my carbide tips, so <laughs> I have to uh, wait for the rest of them to get here. See, I took that hump down a little bit. I really just got to get up in this this side. It's the hard part to get to because it's less room. And it's also the most restrictive side, so I really want to get that. All right, I'm back again. I forgot to mention earlier. See, so I was still going through with this port, and uh, let's see. As you see, it's really starting to look look pretty damn good now. What I actually found out, I forgot when I bought the other bits and the other uh, uh, carbide tips. Uh, I also bought, what did I do with the box? Uh, huh. Anyway, I can't find it with the box. But I also bought a smaller set. Like, uh, I bought this set, of course, for the, uh, the, uh, fourth inch shank size uh die grinder but i also bought pretty much the same thing but a smaller kit for like a dremel tool so it's just a again another it's not a dremel brand of course it's harbor freight again a little same thing the dremel and this one has smaller like i said i think this that's the eighth inch shank i believe size so, you know dremel dremel bit size and uh I bought those at the same time I bought those because I thought, you know, this may help get into certain tight spaces that uh, I may not be able to with that. And I can say with that, uh, those bits, they kind of want to bounce around a lot and they're a lot bigger. So when they bounce, they kind of leave those grooves. So what I ended up doing was using uh, the Dremel to kind of smooth, smooth out what I did. And uh, as you see like here, this is a... Uh, I can say the uh, finish isn't terrible, but you see it's still rough, you know. And I can say those like those little grooves that left the leaves right there is kind of hard with the with the bigger the bigger bit because they'll uh, they'll really kind of want to jump around and cut those grooves in like that. Now you see the front, however is a lot a lot smaller a lot smoother like i say and this is still i still haven't polished or anything you know once i actually go through and polish and sand it down you know this makes it a lot more manageable to sand so you see this one spot right here that was a uh, leftover from the actual bigger die grinder and now all i've been doing was going over it pretty much with the dremel size and it smooths it out a little bit Like I said, it isn't perfect. You still see it. Still has little fine little 
like I said, that bit does the same thing. It bounces in its own, but like I said, it's a lot smaller. So this is a lot more manageable to go in and sand. Like I probably actually end up going in and just sanding it by hand to smooth it down and polish it. But that's, like I said, if you see here, that's that's the before, or this is after the drum one, that's the before. So, so it's a lot smoother now. I kind of went and touched, touched around where I could. I see I'm gonna keep going. At least try to finish this front part of the snout up. Alright, so here's pretty much what I got. Pretty much done. Like I said, it's maybe a little more uh, slight light sanding I might do. Uh, probably do a little bit of wet sanding just to get some slight rough spots out, but man, it's completely smooth. I mean, I know you still see fine lines, but that's just from trying to uh, pour and polish the kit. This is what I would finish up with. Like I said, I did some uh, mostly uh, 120 grit pieces. And uh, that kind of pretty much smoothed everything out that I had going. Like I say, uh, you still see some fine lines, but that's just, you can't really, you can't feel this, honestly. But uh, like I said, I'll probably get some even finer sandpaper and actually go through and wet sand it by hand just to make sure it's smooth. But I, I can definitely feel this going to be less restrictive airflow. Like I said, it's so smooth now compared to that uh, that casting flash type, you know, surface. Uh, like I said, of course, there's still a few little spots here and there that I could have been picky about. And of course, I'm not an expert or professional, so you know, I had to clean up edges that I, you know, the um, tip of my uh, die grinder may have wandered and, you know, got the edge. But I'll smooth that down because you want to make sure the surface is flush. Like I said, like there. But uh, really, if you wanted to make this even thinner, you could came and thin it down, even eliminate it. I may do that. And here just get it a little bit thinner um see that hump got a little one there but see that hump's pretty much just about gone i still left it in there though because i still wanted that support um this is the one hard spot that was there was to get the little hump here from from this it's kind of hard to get there but i wanted to get it down at least a little bit because this side is really restrictive airflow so Managed to do that pretty decently, I think enough. Like I said, I could go and be really picky if I wanted to, but say I'm not a professional. You know, this is just a do-it-yourself, inexpensive way. Um, I went through, washed it out, cleaned it up, uh, got all the flakes that may have been in there out, checked all the ports, make sure they weren't clogged. And of course, up here, this part, I didn't really worry about that too much. Like I said, I just tried to at least maybe smooth it down a little bit. Like I said, I could probably go back and do a little better, but like I said, air, I'm not worried about air going up that way because that's just, like I said, bypass. I wanted to really smooth the surface out down here. So, as you can see, that's a lot smoother than what it was. Um, so, after I wet sand and get some fine sandpaper, should be perfect. <laughs> 